it up. All right, guys, this is another Moto Stories with Lucky Phil. We are coming to you as live as live can be from Mid Ohio Amer AMA, that's uh, American Motorcycles Association, Vintage Motorcycle Days. I have been just having a great damn time. Uh, people podcasters just show up with mojitos and brown liquor. I think we got 14 bottles of liquor right now, Lit. thanks to our listeners. And uh, we are friends. Now, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you have events where you go and you see your friends that you see one time a year. Now, Kevin is a friend that I see quite a bit because we both do vintage motor scooters. Yep. And Kevin is a Lambretta enthusiast. Like, But he's also... You think American Pickers pull some deals. Kevin... I find junk. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. But he finds good junk. Sometimes the junk Sometimes good. a goal, a pile of gold. Now, Kevin, where are you from? Thank you, sir. Uh, Fairfield, Ohio. Fairfield, Ohio. And your son is? Lucas. 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 And Lucas, Lucas, how old are you, Lucas? I'm 19. 19 years old. Now, when I met Lucas, Lucas was 14. I believe 14. And you were rocking around on a scoot. Yep. And we were having a good time here. Because yep. these guys perpetually do have a booth set up to sell motorcycles. Now, how many years have you been coming to AMA Vintage? Over 20. Over 20 years, all right? And we get to know people, and we know where their house is. Because you yep. get the same spot every year. And if we don't see you there, we get concerned. Because some of us do die off. <laughs> and we lose a few. So Michael, Michael from Michael's Motorcycles in San Diego, a true gem of a human being, didn't make it through COVID. And, and you're right. There's, a, there's an empty space where he used to bring Munch Mammoths. He brought Lambretta stuff. And he brought Lambretta stuff. And he sold me a Rally, a Rally 200 and a Rally 180. And we see our friends and then we lose our friends and it, it hurts us. So here's the Michael. And if you know Michael Motorcycle, you know who we're talking about. Just an amazing human being. Now, Lucas, I bought a motorcycle a few years ago and it was a Yamaha XT350. And if you know what they are, they're special. And I bought this bike and it was a little dinged up, but they have a good soul. That's a good motor. Like That motor is a solid motor. It appears in many different motorcycles. And I bought the bike with one intention to be my winter motorcycle. It was going to be my winter bike. I was going to bags on it, big windshield on it, the whole deal, because an XT350 is completely street legal. Yep. And yet it can be a very good trail bike. A really, really good trail bike. Tons of grunt. And I decided every couple of years I'd drag it out and bring it down here and maybe put a sign on it and see if we can find somebody dumb enough to spend too much money on it. Yeah. And like most things, I probably got it for very close to free and then put money into it to make it run. So the one year we brought it down, so I think Doc was going to ride it. I think Doc rode that thing around, you know, kicked it a million times. You had just read it back from the Mexican restaurant, and he took advantage of margarita food. Oh, we? And again, don't ever make deals when you're loaded, unless you're making deals with me and I'm loaded, in which case you're going to win. Now, now you guys know that I have a soft spot for a good story about getting a young person a motorcycle. And Kevin knows that. Oh, yeah. And Kevin understands I like romance. I like a good romantic story. I like I like Americana. And what did you say, Kevin? I don't remember. I remember. I remember you specifically told me. Now, Phil, we need to get a bike for Lucas. Yeah. Because he's about to be of age. And it had to be street legal. Yep. He was riding this thing right here that's got 13,000 miles. Zoom a zoom of 13,000. Yeah. 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 He soft seized it three times that we know of. It's still on the original cylinder. Totally worn out. Yeah. Barely run. Yeah. And what did I do? You gave him a deal on that. I, I, I believe I negotiated with myself. Possibly. <laughs> All he said to me was, I took advantage of Margarita Phil. He just got back from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lucas, you would have been 16 or 17 then. No, I was about 15. Oh, you were 15 then. See, so this 15-year-old took advantage of me yeah. because I was under the power of alcohol. I was under the influence. Now, there's a rule. You never buy a motorcycle in the dark. If you're going to buy it in the dark, you have to sell it in the dark. And apparently, if you sell a bike drunk, you got to buy a drunk bike drunk, too. It was ugly, but at the end, I felt so good about myself. So, now, you bought that bike for what well, anybody would consider to be a fair price. Very fair. What did you do with it? I wrote it. <laughs> you did for probably two years. I mean, yeah. I, I rode it like a dirt bike, or like a street bike. It's got enough grunt to do whatever you want off-road, but it's got a six gear. Yeah. So oh, isn't that nice? You can go nice? anywhere you want, 60 miles an hour. And yeah. You can actually ride it on the freeway. Yeah. You know, it's a weird motorcycle that way. Uh, so now, you obviously, you're still 
still have that, like, clearly, right? Oh, what? Hold on. Tell me more. So, I decided that, uh, let's see, the winner of 2020. The winner of 2020, he, COVID, yeah. He bought a KTM LC40. Oh, nice, okay. 2001. Yeah. Grunt monster. Grunt Very monster. Torque. Yeah, super torque. Yeah. And here we're from Star. I wrote it. Oh, you rode the LC4? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, now that we get... No, now, don't ever do that. Now the Yamaha isn't so much... No. no. It now it's just big, heavy, and slow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I decided I'll find an LC4. Okay, fair enough. At the time, I had way too many cars, way too many motorcycles, but... Hold on. Yeah. At the time, you were 18. So, yes. And you had way too many cars and way too many motorcycles. Yes. Still do. Good fire. But good dad. But now he's a homeowner, so all that stuff's at his house now. Yeah. Well, you're 19, yeah. and you're a homeowner. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. We're going to let that soak in, folks. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So then I had a Lexus uh, SC400. Oh, yeah, good car. Yeah. I had that uh, uh, XT350. All right. Were the only two things that I had that were able to be liquidated and worth something more than 14 cents. Right. So <laughs> I went ahead and sold the Lexus. Yep. And I sold the Yum. Well, I have a question for you. The, the Lexus, yeah. what did you sell that for? $1,700? And what did you sell the Yamaha for? $1,700? <laughs> okay, you sold a Lexus. You sold a Lexus car for $1,700. And you sold the Yamaha XT350 for $1,700. Now, I know what I sold you the Yamaha for. So, how much money did you make on the Lexus? He delivered the Yamaha. Well, Lexus actually traded a... 77 Mazda Spider Board. <laughs> so go ahead and look that up. Yeah, look that up. Well, you know what? If, if you do get end up with one of those, you need at least one tetanus shot, usually. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right on, dude. So yeah. I actually listed it for 60. Yeah. yeah. And somebody got a hold of it and jokingly said, well, would you deliver it to Michigan? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sure, I'll take a four-hour drive on New Year's Day. So, really? Yep. Oh, there's no traffic. No. No. There is ice. <laughs> it's northern Indiana ice. Especially up by Michigan. Yeah, there is, right? <laughs> so I took a four hour trip up to Michigan. Right. Unloaded it for 1700 bucks. Right. Turned around. Yeah. Went back through Indy. Yeah. Picked up an LC4. Oh, you got on the same trip? Yep. Yes. Luke. This man is a freaking hero. 19 years yeah. old. Turned around, bought an LC, not just the regular LC, no, no. But an adventure. No way. So, really? An adventure, and it came with a parts bike supermoto. You did hear about the guy nice. who traded the paperclip for a house. Yeah, yeah. In, in 93 million steps. Well done. You you earned that. That was badass. Yeah. So now you love the LC4 adventure. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. You put the supermoto wheels on that yet? Not yet. No. Oh, well, you no, know. It's a thought. You should. It's oh, a my God. <laughs> They've even got nice tires. They do have Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. You know what? So this is the thing, and we, we joke all the time, because those of us who are old, um, that, uh, those of us who are old and we didn't do anything like make good kids, yeah. we love it when you yeah. make a great, I mean, great He's, great still, he's still being sculpted, but yeah, he, I'm done with that. That's somebody, that's, that's everybody else. Once else's. they own their own house, honestly, yeah. there's no excuse. You can't tell them to be home by a certain time when they own their own he house. He still has yeah. to get the rest of his crap out of my place. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How much can be? How much can a 19-year-old be a hoarder? Wait till he gets in the boats. No, no, no. <laughs> I did teach you better than that, <laughs> dude. Lucas, I'm so impressed, man. Like, that's cool. That's super cool. That's the spirit of Mid Ohio. Yeah, it really still is. brings this thing out. Well, because you have to. Yeah. We we believe me. There are. So, this is the this is the Mid Ohio surrounding people. Yep. Yeah. That we know that you will have, always have better time, always a better time on a scooter here. Oh, yeah. Because there's a leg shield to put wood and ice and stuff like that. One hand driving. One hand yeah. driving for the cocktail hour. Yesterday yeah. I hauled a CT70 across the lap. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. 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 Oh man! You know what? It's future America right there. I hope. I feel better about that. Yeah. I, I feel better about who will be changing my diaper in three yeah. years. Politics <laughs> don't matter. Politics Politics do not matter. Yeah. Carrying a CT70 sideways out of across Zuma? Zuma? Yeah. Right on, brother. Yeah. Okay. I'm down with you. Well, well you I guys. Was, I was busy watching the booth. He goes, hey, I found a CT70 for you over there. I said, well, go buy it. So here he comes rolling with it, you know, across the front. He goes, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Awesome. Look, hey, 
That's what Moto Stories is all about. That is a Moto Story. That just yep. happened right here. This and is raw and on a fucking action cam. It is it. Oh, yeah. So if you, it, and that's how you know it's live. So if you guys like this, just remember to like and subscribe and all that nonsense people ask you to do. Yep. But remember, it's all ring about riding. Bell, even. What's that? Ring that bell. Even. Yeah, ring, ring that the bell. bell. You understand. Smash that like <laughs> button. Right. We need to know that you approve of us. Right. We don't really. All we want to do is bring more people in to do more That's stories. That's exactly right. We're not trying to get rich from this shit. We just want to have better stories. We just all want to be time. able to keep doing what we love to do anyway. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's it. So you guys, thanks much, man. Taking a minute, coming over and talking to us. Right on. Ride fast and take chances. Later that same evening. So, what, what's going on, guys? This is a parade of bad ideas. I predict absolute and total failure, embarrassment for all involved, and yet I'm doing it anyway. But what what is what is the what is the plan here? Our man, uh, our man Pete from Nokomoto is going to be doing a burnout on his fellow scooter in his uh, drawers, and he may or may not get naked. He may or may not drink a beer. He may or may not have fireworks lit on his head by Liza. He may or may not crash into a ball of death and despair. But whatever happens, we'll be there for him. Yeah. <laughs> because, because yes. it's Mid Ohio. Mid Ohio! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.